Hello, darling. It's Mylene here, and this is just one of these like random thoughts that I have. So, what are the three subjects you're never supposed to talk about at work or in polite company? Politics, religion, and sex, right? Politics can always cause an argument. I've seen it happen way too many times. Religion, eh, or sex, we know we're not supposed to do this, right? But we're not at work, and I'm not that polite. So, politics, you wanna talk about politics? No, because I'm by myself and I really don't wanna go off on a tirade on that one. What about religion? Mm, sounds kinda of boring to me. So let's talk about sex, because that's always a fun subject. I think, but really, when you think about how many people have hangups about sex, here in America, especially major hangups about sex, which I've never understood, okay? First of all, our bodies are made for this, okay? They really were. Second of all, it's awesome if you're doing it right. Horrible if you're not. Kind of like food. Tastes really good if it is, but if it's made poorly, ugh, who wants to eat it? So think about it this way. Like when you have that special someone, and I'm talking about sex in the traditional way, which doesn't mean male, female. It could be boy, girl, 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 boy, boy. I don't care, whatever your preference is. I just mean like not turkey basting. We're not procreating humans in the traditional way I'm calling it, okay? It is the 21st century, so there are other alternatives, but we're just going back to regular. So think about that super special someone that you want to be naked with, right? It makes you smile. It makes you want to get dressed cuter. It makes you think happy thoughts, right? It's awesome. Now think about your parents. I don't know about you, but that just is wrong on so many levels. Like, why is it that you can think about that super special someone and it makes a smile on your face and then you think about your parents and you're like, oh God, who wants to think about that? But it is how we got here, right? You know that's how we got here, but the picture in your mind of seeing this just, kills so many things. So if it's that bad on your parents, what about your grandparents? Oh my God. That just like gives me the shivers thinking about old people doing it. Ah! My grandmother, oh no, I just can't do that. But yet we know that's how our parents got here, right? There's no way they got here without it being that way. Turkey basters weren't around in those days. And never mind, look at the TV show Grace and Frankie. One of my favorites, by the way, hysterically funny. It's a giant hit. So clearly, old people are still doing it. Otherwise, STDs wouldn't be running rampant in retirement communities. Running rampant in retirement communities. These over 55 places, I don't know what's going on there. Scary, I might be there soon. No, I'm only kidding. But why is it that that special someone makes you happy? Your parents makes you want to throw up and your grandparents just makes you never want to have sex again <laughs> thinking about that, right? So like nothing sounds worse except for all you parents out there. I am the mother of two boys. There is nothing. Now that's worse than thinking of old people having sex. Who wants to think about their child having sex? It's just too much to bear. Oh, la, 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 la. Get that image out of my mind. How about what's better? How about trying to talk to your kids about sex? I think that's worse than actually having the sex talk with your parents for the first time when you hit puberty. I thought that was bad enough, but oh my God, explaining this to your children, it's just too much, too much, but hysterically funny as well. So wait till we get the next ones what should that be dating oh that's always fun stories kids oh the things they ask you about sex is unbelievable so we'll see bye for now